can't get over it. How it was. Oh God, I get these strong feelings inside and so sad I can hardly stand it. Uh, I can feel one coming now. Uh, it's breaking my heart with its strength. Tears are coming in my eyes. And that's just because I fell from something from a go. Oh, God. <sighs> there were lovely times, though. I'm such a lilt to them. I go down it when I think. I hate to mention it, but that big silver ball turning there, and all the lights shining down onto us, a lot dancing below, and the big band up there, and the lads and the girls that I knew, all each with their own special character and the way you stood you know you had a cigarette <laughs> you even lit a cigarette differently then uh, there was some way I can't do it now it's a good thing too because if I could I'd cry my flipping heart out That's why I never wear a brill screen these days. I just can't. National service too, you did. Everyone did it. <laughs> you never complained much. <laughs> you never felt like complaining. I don't know why. National service though. Ah, oh, you'd all be there. I was in the RAF. In that soft blue uniform. When you had a break, you lie in your bunk. You know, you made my say, give us a tab. <laughs> when you went home on, on leave, home to your hometown, the weather always seemed to be a bit misty, you know. And you'd be walking familiar streets, and everyone would have a little something to say to you. <laughs> And you'd go to your girlfriend's factory <laughs> and someone would send up to her. There's a man in uniform to see you. <laughs> and you'd be outside. Take cigarettes out of your pocket. Light up. Stand there in misty weather in your blue uniform. Fill up with something. <laughs> and everybody was apprentice something. You know, serving your time. Or you could work for more money in the beginning, in a warehouse, or the railway. But it didn't pay off eventually. Or you could be a fly boy, selling toys and animals in the, in the pubs. There were so many jobs then. A lot of people would start one in the morning, finish it, start another one in the afternoon, finish it, Start another world else the next day. You had to hit parade. Holidays in the Isle of Man. Or Blackpool. Volare! We all felt special then. But safe at the same time. I don't know. You know I'm not saying this is right. But girls didn't even go in pubs. They didn't. At the dance in the interval, all the lads would go in the pub next door. The girls stayed in the dance hall. Then afterwards, we all came back. And the girls, so pretty. And when I think of them, and you went courting in those days. <laughs> you courted. You walked with them and they'd put their cardigans over their arms. and 
Oh, the pictures. You went twice. Three times a week. The stars. The music. Black and white. Kissing. Sex. <laughs> when I say that word. Live. And when I said it back then. It feels different than me. I know what sounds, you know. But it does. I can't get away from the past. I just can't. But no matter what they say, I can't see how that time could have turned into this time. So horrible for me. And so complicated for me. Being so poor, I'm no good, I'm no use. I can see them now. My old friends, the young faces, turning around and smiling. Ah, who spoiled life? Is it me? Us? Them? Or God? Good afternoon everybody and welcome to uh, the service today. My name is Charles Preacher and uh, right come in and sit down you know you've got to uh, be segregated so just sit where the not on the crosses if you don't mind the marks on the uh, the on the seats okay right today we are going to start, I'm going to do a sermon today and I've picked it out because it's very important on um, greed for one thing is no good in this society. We find today there's too much greed so we're going to try and stamp it out in this church today. Indeed, indeed. Right. I just move it, that's better. Oh dear. Right. Today's service is in different parts, but we are going to stamp out greed today in this congregation. Then you shall go away and you shall be praised the Lord for all your sins. And you will think more carefully about trying to buy a colour TV that you can't afford to actually have and put a horse in. In your one bedroom flat. It doesn't work. So stop being silly. Just because you see your neighbours. Have got a field and they've got a horse. Your daughter wants one. Well she can't have one. Tell her no you can't have one. We haven't got the room. Just be a bit. Grow some bubble. 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 Bubbles will you. Because it's nearly Christmas. Right. As I was saying. My name is Giles. Giles Preacher and on with the preaching today. Right. Oh dear. There was a couple who got married in here a couple of weeks ago and they're not in here today so I could tell you. She was so ugly, right? She was so ugly that when she met the devil, the devil started praying. That's how bad it was, right? And also, what do you call, what do you call a Mexican who's just been baptised? Bean dip, that's right. Anyway, anyway, the um, anyway, I should tell you another thing as well. This man, right, he was talking to God. He was talking to God, which is a great thing to do. Anyway, he was talking to God. Listen up now. He was talking to God. And he said to God, God, he said, how long in your time is a million years? And God said to him, it's about a minute. He said, God, how much is a million pounds in your time? God said, it's about a penny. The man then said to him, he said to him, can I have a million pounds, God? And God replied, yes, wait a minute. There you go, you see, put things into perspective. Right, here we go now. Right, we are going to sing... Song 122, all things bright and beautiful, and I'll see you later on, on 
we go. Right, raise your voices. All things right and beautiful. Bye for now, everybody. Bye for now. This has been Charles Preacher, and I certainly do. Oh, oh, oh. Get that